Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Gemini weekly money and career reading from February 5th to the 11th, 2024. Gemini's. Welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Money and career, February 5th to the 11th. 2024 for the sign of Gemini. Thank you for being here. I hope you are all well. Be on the lookout on the here out for the magic word if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading. All you have to do is wait for the magic word and put it down in the comments section and be subscribed. I will announce the name at the end of the month in the live reading. Also, if you're interested in becoming a member in supporting this channel, uh, that will give you access to um, a free question on the live readings live readings that I do every Sunday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, hoping you can connect with us tomorrow, Sunday. It's every Sunday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Hope, you, hope to see you there, Gemini. All right, too many cards. Let's see what we have here. Oh, beautiful. Ace of Wands. Three of Cups. You're celebrating starting something. This is a new beginning. Have you started a new job? Or are you starting a new job? Celebrating getting that job or celebrating enjoying your co-workers. Three of Cups. Um, it feels happy. It feels joyous. So are you starting your business? Are you starting a new job? Are you enjoying being on that team? Let's see where this is going. Five of Swords, competition there, ego going on, a lot of discussions, push and pull. Don't put too much ego in there. Nine of Wands, Queen of Swords, the Hermit and Ten of Wands. My oh my. All right. Well, you're starting something and it feels like you're pushing forward. You're persevering no matter what with this Nine of Wands. You're, the Nine of Wands for me is freaked out but persevering. And maybe you are stressed out because of competition right or within the job or within the business or whatever it is you're, you, that you're starting here with this uh five of swords right it's it feels like it feels like you are battling discussions but you're standing your ground. So maybe it is a competitive world and maybe it is a competitive environment within that new job or it's a competitive business that you're starting, right? But you're standing your ground, Queen of Swords. You have thought long and hard to push forward in this path with the Hermit and you have the Ten of Wands. So it feels like, all right, let's pull some more cards because I, I I have two, two energies here, either leaving behind a fiercely competitive world or entering. And let's see where, because there are a lot of harsh discussions. There are a lot of, um, you're speaking your mind. And here you are, Gemini, queen of swords. You want the truth, nothing but the truth. You don't want nonsense. Pay, okay, so page of swords. So this is a new idea. This is what you're moving into easy does it okay you're not trusting <laughs> okay well there it seems like there is some sort of 
passion yet a little toxic environment here with the devil but it feels like It feels like it's almost, you feel like it has to be like that. In other words, hear me out. In other words, you feel like it has to be a passionate, a bit toxic uh, environment because it's so competitive. It's sort of, uh, you know, um, sharks in the shark, in the shark uh, tank, you know, and, um, may the best one win or something like that. So maybe you like this ambition and you like this competition. You don't trust anybody, Gemini. It feels like you don't trust anybody. And it feels like a very stressful environment, yet you're pushing forward. You're starting something very competitive and stressful and a bit toxic. It feels like, um, it's 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 no emotion it's fact it feels like business is business or maybe you're in the financial it feels financial it feels almost like wall street right and it doesn't have to be wall street but it feels like it's um purely financial or business oriented field and there's no there's no cups well there's cups here because you're celebrating getting into this but it's each person for itself let the battle begin in a good way, but I'm not sure it's that healthy, but it's, it's what you have wanted. Or even if you don't trust these people, it feels like you want to dip your toes in this and you want, you want to see what's going on and you want to see if you can, you know, you can handle this or if this is for you. Temperance, temperance though, right? Because you have the nine of wands. So yes, you are stressed out or yes, you, right? Um, but it, it's really about you understanding your environment, understanding what this is all about, what your objectives are, um, um, and, and having like constructive criticism, being fair, even if it's, um, uh, shark attack time, you know, um, and each person for itself, you still want to either make money or be there for the right reason. And you're okay with competition and you're okay with what's going on just as long as you get what you need out of it. Right. So it's all about facts and connecting with people utilizing that intellectual understanding gemini that you have you don't trust anybody though it feels just as long as you you know make the decision or all decisions with calm maturity and you know allow everything to sort of settle in whatever it is that you need to decide on or whatever it is that you're working on that right but it feels like it really feels like you have thought long and hard with the hermit here do i do this do i start this and this doesn't have to be for everyone but it, it really feels like it's something financial and um highly competitive and um and uh, you have decided to check it out to see if you can handle it or if it's for you or if it's worth it or if, you, you know, you can make some money out of it or something like that. Because you do have the devil. And sometimes I read the devil as passion, a passionate job, whatever. And it can be passion. But I'm also reading it as that, you know, be careful about addiction be careful about attachments or you know that shadow side and those it's 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 something you know about maybe dependencies and i don't read that very often but you know patterns or you know don't don't get yourself sort of trapped 
just for a short-term adrenaline rush, if that makes sense. A short-term, you know, if you can make a lot of money, but just, just know that um, it's about sort of that, that duality of choices, pushing in uh, to make money fast, but yet you don't trust anybody in this whole thing. Very interesting reading. This first time I have a reading like this that's so pinpointed in one direction, right? But you have the hermit. So this is about you figuring out and maybe this is going to make you figure out what you really want, right? Do you want to stay in this? finding answers, figuring it out, right? What what career you want? Do you want to be in this career? Do you want to remain in it? Is this a short-term thing? It's like you have had to dig deep to figure it out, right? So you realize that your knowledge and your sense of truth is within you no matter what, not within the distractions. And it feels like this is part distraction, part job, part, it almost feels like this is in Vegas or in, it doesn't have to be Vegas at all. That's just an example. But you know, something like that. You're like in a, wow, this is very interesting, yet very intriguing. It feels like you're in an environment maybe of, of, Gambling doesn't have to be, but that that vibration. So it doesn't have to be that at all, but it feels like money related, right? Uh, gambling on, and it can be gambling on a job or a project or, you know, something you believe in, uh, an idea, and you really believe in that, and uh, gambling on investment, something like that. And um, you're not sure, but... It, it's really you at a pivotal point in your career considering this new direction and starting this or giving it a try. And it's almost like you feel like this is going to be distracting or it's going to be exciting because, you know, you're, it's almost a little bit like escapism. It does. It does feel like that. And it feels like adrenaline rush. And you feel like with this try, whatever you're starting here, you're going to be able to reevaluate re your path or maybe change your career path or look at, you know, look at life in a different way. Priori priorities are changing, something like that. All right. Very interesting reading, Gemini. Um, it's usually not as pinpointed. So if, if, for anybody out there that is connecting, uh, comment down below. Let me know if this resonates for you. But it feels like you're starting something, you know. Yes, there we go. Again, we have the... Um, the devil. So you feel very, very attracted to this. This is something you want to try. And we have, the, there you go, that the, the dual energies, um, adrenaline, sort of wanting to try this, wanting to be in there, wanting to um, invest your money in that, uh, wanting to gamble for this, and the temperance is there, slow down slow down, take it easy, make sure you evaluate, make sure you check things out, make sure you know who you're talking to and what this is all about. Fact check, back check, right? Because it feels like at any moment, right, you're, you're, you're trying to figure things out. Maybe you're trying to find that new career or find that new job, which is fine, but then it's very um, exhilarating right? Try to stabilize that energy and, and sort of uh, keep composed, keep calm. Whatever it is you're pushing through, whatever it is you're deciding, free choice. 
These are only cards. Let's see if we have a few more cards here. Gemini, it's a very interesting reading. There you are, Gemini. Finding your clarity. Finding your truth. You're becoming clear on your choice. Whatever it is you're accomplishing. Yes, there you go. So maybe you are finding your tribe and maybe you are finding this uh, true career purpose, true career path. Two times the three of cups and you have the lovers. The lovers is about being genuine and very clear on your choices and very clear on where you stand. Your philosophy, what you want to build, how you want to move forward in your career, how do you want to move forward in your life. And, and that's what the lovers is all about. Being genuine and honest with yourself and true and honest, you know, with yourself and others. Fair game, fair game. <laughs> and and the uh, and the five of cups not funny haha -ha, but it's it's be careful not to be stunned there we go right easy does it money 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 careful right it's all about am i taking these no okay uh, yeah, it's, I'm going to, I'm going to leave it at that for this deck and I'm going to, I'm going to take, um, a few cards. This is one last message for the road, Gemini. Um, I feel like it, it's stop and go, stop and go. But I mean, this is genuine for you. This is something that you are pushing into. Let's see what the last me message, the last deck has to give one last message for the road. I think that calm and balance will help you achieve whatever you're trying to achieve in this energy, in this job, in this situation. Too many cards. All right. One last minute. Okay. Here we go. I'm not making this up. The third devil. There we go. So you, if you connect with this, you will know exactly what it is. All right. Four of swords. And the queen of wands. Aries, Leo, Sag. Is maybe you have an Aries, Leo, Sag around you. Maybe you're working with an Aries, Leo, Sag. Doesn't have to be. The Queen of Wands is very assertive. She knows what she's talking about. She wants to create. She, She's a leader. She's the one that's going to make things happen. She's the one that's going to close the deal. She's the one that's going to um, check out things and um, identify opportunities, identify opportunities to make money. She's the one. So maybe, and I say she, not gender specific, of course, just Queen of Wands. Um, but you have the four of swords, so tempo, tempo, take some rest, say, take some time out, whatever it is, right? Uh, rest meaning not being on, you know, on a tablet, or on a phone, really rest, rest, like, you know, walking in nature or yoga or meditation or just reading or, um, sleeping, relaxing, napping, right? A time out of whatever this toxic energy is. You have three devils. So um, it's, it's something exciting. It's something passionate. Yet it's something, you know, it's almost like you, you want to be there. You want to be part of it. And, and even though you know that it's not the healthiest place to be, Right, if it's financial uh, gambling or investing in a certain project that you're not quite sure of, or you know whatever it is, whatever it is, um, easy does it. Easy does it. Take your time. Take your time to make decisions. Take your time to relax. To take a pause. 
to um, have any sort of discussions. There is money involved. We do have the Page of Pentacles. Um, let me know how it goes, Gemini. Let me know. Um, I'm going to say uh, the magic word is risk. Risk. The magic word is risk. If you wish to put your name in the hat for free reading, all you have to do is put the word risk down below in the comment section and also be subscribed. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Gemini, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to each and every one for sharing your energies, for supporting this channel. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Have a great week, Gemini. Take care. Bye-bye.